Ruby's trailer involves her fighting a bunch of Grimm all at once. There's no context to why Ruby is fighting them, or even who Ruby is. It's just making Ruby look cool and nothing else. At the same time, I've also heard this trailer is only a dream sequence, which I believe. Out of every trailer, this is the only one that isn't referenced later in the series. Not only that, but Monty Um even admitted at an RTX panel in 2013 that Ruby was acting out of character, and the trailer was more to show off Ruby's weapon, Crescent Rose. Why this trailer involves her singing and fighting a giant suit of armor? Again, there's no context to why she's fighting that armor or singing. We don't even know what she's supposed to be fighting in this scene. Is the suit of armor a type of Grimm? If so, why doesn't it have white armor like every other Grimm in the series? I will credit one thing about the white trailer. The song Mirror Mirror that plays in the background and the one Weiss is singing is totally about her. And I enjoy small details like that, which you might not notice the first time watching. Blake's trailer involves her going on a mission to steal dust from a train with Adam. I will admit, out of every trailer, this is the best one in terms of looks. However, Adam steals the spotlight for me while watching this trailer. He's the one leading the way and the one to defeat the giant robot he and Blake were fighting. Imagine if we saw Winter in a white trailer defeat the giant suit of armor Weiss was fighting and Weiss was only doing a support role. Again, it's more of a me thing. I can understand if you didn't have that reaction. My point in talking about all this was Yang did appear to have the most potential based on her trailer. It showed some of her personality, gave context to her actions, and didn't have the spotlight stolen from her.